came back this week to complete the making of the butternut squash ravioli, which I began last week. I'm going to make the filling that will go in the ravioli. So let's do that. So I have a little pot here. I'm going to put some butter in. And these are chopped shallots. I like them. They're a nice flavor, not too strong. I'm just going to cook those until they soften. So we cook the shallots in the butter for about two minutes. And I'm adding some chopped butternut squash. Mix that in there together and now I'll put a lid on this and turn it nice and low. We want that to cook nice and low and slow for about 15 minutes. I didn't add any moisture to the pan. It's going to come out of the squash. We don't want to add any moisture because we want this to be a dry enough filling that it will hold its shape in the ravioli and not be too wet. When the squash is cooked, I just take a fork and mash it. Resist the temptation to put this into a food processor or you end up with sloppy baby food. This has lots of texture and I can put that into the ravioli quite easily. I'm going to put a little nutmeg. I just love nutmeg. Just a hint of nutmeg in there into the filling mixture. We've got our pasta made and our filling made. Now we just need to roll the dough, form the ravioli, and cook them. So here's our rested pasta dough. It's nice and pliable. I'm going to cut off a piece and keep it wrapped. I'm going to flatten this piece with my hand. We now have a flattened piece. I've got something here called semolina. It's not cornmeal. This is semolina. It comes from the durum flour, durum wheat, and it's coarsely ground. So it's very nice. Uh, it doesn't, it, it, it forms a nice barrier so that things don't stick. Okay. I'm on the widest opening, and I'm going to start by feeding it in and turning the crank, like so. And it just presses it thinner. So what I'm going to do is knead it a little bit, which means we're going to fold it over and go through again in that direction. Then I'm going to fold it in this direction. I like to try and get it fairly rectangular. Like so. And you can keep doing that a few times so you get a nice, even-looking piece of dough. Now what I want to do is cut this into squares. Now we have our squares of pasta. We're going to fill them, but I need a little glue for the edge to hold them together. So I've taken the leftover egg white, mixed a little bit of water, and lightly beaten it. So now I have a little glue. And what I'm going to do is just do two sides like this. And I'm going to take a teaspoon of the filling, well, almost a tablespoon, heaping teaspoon. And I'm going to fold it over onto the glued edges and carefully Squeeze it down. Try not to leave any air on the inside. So I'm just going to push the air out. I'm going to boil the ravioli. In the meantime, I'm going to make a little sauce just by melting some butter with some sage leaves. And then we're going to toss that in the butter and plate it. It'll be so beautiful. Et voila. This is butternut squash ravioli with sage and butter 